Welcome to RV Hour, powered by Giant Recreation World. An honest talk about the RV lifestyle, travel, costs, tips, and everything you need to know. Each week, we'll bring you the best and most helpful info, travel hacks, and answer your camping questions. Now, here's your host, Larry McNamara, CEO of Giant Recreation World. Episode 61. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, as normal, Larry McNamara here. I'm with my producer, co-host and producer, co-host and producer, main host, main uh, man with the plan. Tell you, his name's not Stan. No, it ain't. All right, so we uh, we got done with a very successful Central Florida RV show. Oh yeah, things went uh, nice out there. It huh? was. Uh, we had an awesomely huge display. Uh, there were over sixty RVs in in our site only. And, uh, there were probably a good 250 on display at the at the sh- uh, shows. Yeah, man, that's a lot. Uh, and I heard they had like 6,000 uh, attendees, and that's pretty good. Yeah, that is. That's for the first uh, show out, out, you know, in six or seven, seven years. years. You ain't kidding, man. That worked yeah. out good. So I, I voted we have it again there next year, and yeah. uh, we'll see how it goes. That's awesome. Good. What else yeah. we got going on there? Sure. So we've also, right now, we've got the RV spring sale going on right now. Yeah, so uh, that means uh, we have six exceedingly large, uh, great deals on RVs yeah. and RV accessories. That's right. Say So uh, all three of our locations uh, all have indoor showroom. That's right. That's Palm Bay, that's Orange Beach, that's Winter Garden. Check us out. We have a full lineup of RVs. All drastically priced, especially the 2023s. Yeah, I agree. Uh, again, now is an opportunity to really, really get a great deal. Yeah, that's a fact. So, uh, with that being said, we also are, are uh, we have our, a bunch of our VIP Camping Club members. They're not employees. Yeah. They're 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 customers that that utilize their RVs they purchase from us at our VIP Camping Club uh, outings and. Yeah. Uh, They've been telling me they want to help. So guess what? What's going on? I got them coming at all locations, hey. and they're going to have little uh, name tags on. Say, you know, ask me about the club. There you go. And that's what, mainly what they're there for. But they're also going to cook the hamburgers and hot dogs. Oh, that's nice. And so. help people get uh, get through and register for all the free stuff we're giving away and spin the wheels and yeah, yeah. And whatnot. So you know, I think it's going to be quite the uh, the event this weekend. Yeah, it should be fun. Yeah, and giveaways uh, and prizes. I noticed a couple of fake shows in the area right now. Yeah, went on this weekend. Also, guess what? They don't have those. Uh, we got Ray's meats, hot dogs from Volusia County. Whoa, there's no better all beef hot dog, and they're like foot longs, and they're really, really good. Hey. They are good. That's so, exciting. We got hey. those, and I'm just so excited over all the the great prices. And yeah. this is going to be a big deal, folks. It's a big deal. It's I mean, great. I tell you, coming off of a show, a lot of the units are very aggressively priced, man. You got some uh, good units out there. Yeah. Well, we're giving away a free Yeti cooler giveaway. That we are. Uh, that people can register to win that. Yep. Uh, 250 store credit on all total purchases. That's 500 right. on motors. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, spin the win to, uh, with giveaways and prizes and uh, useful prizes. Useful prizes. Yeah. Uh, get get a giant Recreation World hat while supplies last. Oh, oh. Don't miss out on this event. And always, you can pre-shit uh, shop at uh, giantrecreationworld.com. That's right. And uh, get awesome deals. That's Look right. Look on the, the two 2023s, and you can see just all of them we have. Yeah. And well, that, least, that list keeps getting smaller and smaller. So Get them while they last. Get them while they last. Those deals are going fast. It's so good. because uh, of the uh, we had a big RV show, everybody knows. It right. was in Kissimmee. At the uh, Heritage Park. And uh, driving the RVs back from that show to all three of our locations was our transport department, and they do a great job. They do do a great job. But I got to tell you, uh, good guys. Uh, our Winter Garden store, you know, from Kissimmee, it's action-packed with traffic. Oh, yes. Any one of our other locations off of I-95, action-packed with Action-packed. You know, so Business that being said, I wanted to talk about, you know, Driving an RV on a busy highway. So oh, yeah. tips and tricks. Oh, that's a good one. I might be driving or towing. You know, either way. Either way. Either way. Yeah. So, uh, did you like that segue? That was. A- <laughs> <laughs> I've been told I'm the king of the segue. Bop, bop, bop. I wish I invented those things. Yeah. You know, those, those things you ride. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, I see them sometimes still. Would you be, it wasn't his last name, Segway? You'd be riding a McNamara. Yeah. Like, <laughs> 
a Lawrence. A oh, Lawrence. oh, ride the new Lawrence. The Sir Lawrence. I see you the, the. You got the Larry Mac. The twenty-four you know. Lawrence is out now. <laughs> All right, so uh, all right, what do you got? First thing you got to do is plan your route. You know, before hitting that road, plan the route carefully. Oh yeah. Use uh, GPS navigation or maps to identify the best roads with fewer traffic jams and construction sites. Yeah, we a talk- lot of people like the Waze because it'll tell you the Waze. But, uh, again, it is. there are specific GPS navigation uh, apps that are made for RVs too that'll keep That's you right. from under going on roads with low hanging trees and and low bridges yeah. and. Which we talk about pretty often. We should yeah. probably do that as a segment on one of these. Just the technology, like the sure. apps. We'll go yeah. down the apps list, see what's the, best. They're, they're always coming, always, too. Yeah, always new ones coming out. I think out. Uh, you can get the Everything app on the X, oh. right? Come on. I be. Elon is talking about it. And Everything app. Everything huh? app. I like it. I yeah, like so it. Take it over, boy. There you go. Uh, you can take the next one. All right. Though. So we're going to uh, avoid rush hour. Make sense. That does make sense. Do you want to try to travel? Outside the peak traffic hours to minimize congestion and stress. Oh, yes, sir. Early morning, early mornings or late evenings are usually on the street. That's true. And uh, I got a, a story. Uh, when I draw, I work at our or, uh, Winter Garden location. I live in Ormond Beach. Okay. So I have to drive down oh, that you threw heated I-4. Yeah, man, that's the highway. And I found that the earlier I leave, the worse I am. Really? Weird, right? That is weird. I guess because everybody. So if I leave at seven, you know, in an effort to get here by eight eight thirty, yeah, I still get here closer to nine. Oh goodness, man! Or if I leave at like eight o'clock, I get here just close to nine. Yeah, like nine fifteen. <laughs> it's I'm just saying. Funny. So uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, weird. that traffic out there is tough. Yeah, man. There, there's uh, there's just jams and it, 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 it's slow going through them. Yeah. and there's nothing. It's just because of the amount of volumes. Yeah. That Especially being in an RV makes it even tougher. Also, weather conditions can play a part on uh, how to properly navigate on the yes. highways. Definitely now. stay informed. Yeah. If if uh, there's bad weather in the forecast, avoid it. Yep. Avoid driving, you know. Yeah. Find yourself a, a, a big parking lot that is RV friendly. Find yourself a, a, a rest area. Yeah, rest area. On the wall. side of the road. Yeah. We got one here in the Publix next to us this week. That's right. So, uh, All right. yeah, there's uh, that's really good uh, sage advice. Yeah. You always, always, stay. always stay alert. Come on, people. Yeah, stay Pay alert. attention to the road or the traffic. Put the phone no distractions down. like uh, phone. Phone. You don't want to eat a big greasy hamburger, you know. Uh uh, don't don't be adjusting on the radio either. No, sir. There's technology today, yeah. you know. Uh hey Google. Play me some music. There you go. You don't have to, you know, yeah, do nothing. Look Just away yell from the it screen. Out. I'm sure it, it exists. Hey Siri, play me some music. Play it up. There's all kinds of. Them. There is. There's yeah. a lot of them. Yeah, those are good ones. You all can, right. Uh, so we're gonna maintain a safe distance. Yeah. You want to keep a safe distance when following between your RV and the vehicle ahead. Allow extra space for braking, especially in heavy traffic or, you know, slight bad weather. Bad weather. Well, you know, the, the when you're pulling a trailer or you're driving a big motor home, they don't stop as quick as, say, that little car in front yeah. of you. Oh, you ain't So, good. yeah, you have to certainly be careful. And when you're driving on these big interstates, mm-hmm. those uh, slowdowns are usually very rapid. Yes. <laughs> and uh, yeah. they can be very uh, dangerous. Oh, yeah. We always noticed up north when driving uh, curbs make yeah. everybody slow down and couldn't figure out. And then we had a big snow and like, oh, oh yeah, that's why they're that's slow. That's why. Down. Shoot right uh, off of that. Thing. Yeah, in Florida, you got the uh, the black uh, the black ice. That's uh, just yeah. slippery, far road. Crazy tower roads. So we got uh, use your uh, mirrors effectively. Ooh, that's a good you one. You know, a lot of people don't really know how to use the side mirrors yep. properly. Uh, uh, rear view cameras to monitor the traffic behind you. Oh, yeah. And uh, beside your RV, so you can check your blind spots before changing lanes or merging. Yeah. I'm going to talk about those mirrors, like the side mirrors, for okay. instance. I've, I I learned that if you turn them out to where you have to almost put your head up against the glass to see down the side of your rig, right? that's where they should be. Okay. Because you don't need to see down the side of your rig. You need to see the lane next to you. Right. What's so next that's the you? blind spot. Uh, so, uh, the same thing goes with the other mirror, you know? Good A lot technique. of people like to just look down the side of their car or whatever. Yeah, right. But just, you have to sure. go wider than that and then to where, to where you can... Lean your head out, out to see the side of your car. 
you don't need to see the side of your car out yep. of your side view mirror. There you go. Because there's nothing really right next to your car. You need the lane next to your That's car. That's right. You, you're not, you know. It's a good one. That's a good point of that. Just saying. So there you go. Because I'll tell you, changing lanes in an RV is probably one of the most stressful things when you're first starting out. That's right. Yeah. And, uh, and again... Stay in that right lane. Oh, yeah. You're RVing. You don't want to be in a race. That's a fact. You get bad gas mileage. It's harder to stop and, and avoid anything that uh, it could be bad. Yeah, so yeah. Go under the speed limit. Stay in the very far right lane and enjoy the trip. That's right. Enjoy cruising. Mm-hmm. All right. What else? Yeah. You, you're next. Oh, stay in the right lane. We already used signal yeah. early. Mm-hmm. So use your turn signals well in advance when changing lanes, merging, and exiting the highway. This gives other drivers time to react and adjust their speed. Absolutely. I, I have to admit I'm probably guilty at, at not giving enough warning <laughs> with the old blinker. Yeah, when I when I drive sometimes you're at the it's the warning that's bad. Like when you're at a light and you're going, you kinda give everybody the heads up, but when you're at like highway going, like, whoa. Absolutely. Let's warn them down. How about beach patient? Oh I have an issue with that sometimes too. That's probably the biggest. You know. Remain calm, even in heavy traffic, and when encountering slow-moving vehicles, just avoid aggressive driving behaviors like tailgating or weaving in between the lines. You don't get anywhere any quicker. Nope. You know? Matter of fact, if you just stay, I've said this to all of our employees before, huh? just stay in your lane. Stay in that lane. <laughs> and invariably, the minute you get over into another lane that looks like it's going faster, it stops. It stops. The all lane you're in goes, I mean, just... Just stay in the lane. Just, Just say Take a break. Put the radio on. Sit back. Take breaks. That's Let's another thing breaks. to do. Uh, yeah. So if you're driving long distances, take regular breaks. Oh, yeah. The rest is stretch your legs. Uh, pull over at the rest areas or truck stops. Recharge and, and refocus before continuing your journey. Oh, that's a good one. Like you know, two hours at a time is more than enough. Yeah, yeah. And especially if you have dogs or kids or whatever. Definitely got to take a quick stop. Again, yep. it's part of the, it's the trip rather than the destination That's right. when you're RVing. That's a fact. All right. So watch for road signs. You want to pay attention to road signs, especially those indicating upcoming exits, lane closures, construction zones, or detours. That's right. And then always follow the posted speed limits and traffic rules. Most of those signs, Pretty construction obvious. zones and all that, are there for a reason. That's Uneven right. lanes, big, big, you know, roads that are not super smooth and all, they can throw you off the yeah, filter and cause an accident. Yeah. You see one that says road ends? Definitely right. slow it down. Yeah. And uh, also, fi- fines are double in yeah. the construction yeah, it's zones. Yeah, zones, yeah. So, uh, stay, stay, make sure you stay hydrated. Yeah. Keep a bottle of water, I repeat, water, water. within reach. And stay hydrated, you know, during your drive. Avoid uh, drowsiness by uh, getting enough rest before hitting, uh, you know, hitting the road, the road, and taking breaks as needed. Yeah, man, those are good. We've all been driving and just sort of kind of nodding off a little bit. Oh, yeah. That's dangerous. That it is. Sometimes a quick sip of water, some too, can bring you back into Yeah, or a little, hey, sh- little sprint. Yeah. It'll sprint you up. Yeah. I don't recommend the no-dos. Yeah, no do no. That's, no, that's no. drug-induced uh, stupid. Not good, not good. All right, so you want to use technology. Consider using RV-specific GPS devices, as we've spoke before. Yeah. Also, they provide real-time traffic updates and route recommendations tailored to your vehicle's size and weight. Yeah, that could have replaced that other one. Yeah. But, yeah. hey, there you go. I like that one, though. Yeah, be prepared for emergencies. So make sure you carry the essential items like uh, the first aid kit, the flashlight, the tool kit, the spare tire. Emergency supplies in case of breakdowns or roadside emergencies. Oh, those are good. Yep. All of these things we've talked about time and time, and you can't yep. talk about that enough. Flares and triangles. You can take them. All right, we're going to de- practice defensive driving. That is a Florida Florida rule there. Yeah. Anticipate potential hazards and drive defensively to avoid accidents. Be prepared to react to sudden changes in traffic or road conditions. Hey, you got to look forward, not at, not directly. Don't look got to look down the road, not at the bumper of the car you're following. Yeah. Almost look a little ahead. You were always smart, you know. Yeah. You have to be ready for the things that you're not expecting. Yeah. Somebody that darts out of the one of the side lanes or side uh, road streets. Yeah. You don't know. A lot of people do. A lot of new drivers. They let you drive at 16. Well, <laughs> uh, that's a true story. You know? That's a true story. You know, the, the trend most kids today don't aren't that excited about. Yeah, they don't really get their driver's license. It's unbelievable. Not a big deal. They all got an app. 
Yeah. Did I say there's an everything app coming? You can get the Uber or whatever. They all do that. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. A lot I, of the kids take I, Uber. I thought of it as freedom. I did also. I couldn't you know, wait. I can't wait. wait. You know, we're out of here, boy. Hey, hey, mom, can I borrow the car? Like, you need milk for the house. Let me go get it. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Two hours later, you show back up. Back up with warm milk. <laughs> There's a very exciting stuff. I mean, oh, man. earlier today, we were at the uh, the uh, 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 stopping ground of mine when I was a, a younger man. Young, oh, yeah. Actually, a teenager. Uh-huh. And uh, it was over by the Lake of Popka Park. Yeah. And uh, I, I reminisced about when I was a kid, we used to go there and- yeah. Do stuff. Hanging out. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. And uh, talking about how, how uh, the that lake is in such bad peril. Oh, it is. It's all from the muck farmers, I muck believe. Muck farmers, and, years and, and years. Uh, and the chemicals fused in the yeah. groves. The stuff. runoff. Yeah, yeah, I believe was what that is. But, yeah, I remember trying to water ski in that lake. Oh, really? I really did. And I remember, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, waiting to, uh, to for the boat to pull me. You know, I was okay. I, I was just kind of there. And I and I put my seat down. All right. And I pulled them up, and they were just covered in in green muck. Oh, it was just a total, oh, good. total nasty. I, I I just it's just very heartbreaking. Yeah. No swimming out there. I still think that's probably where uh, the the world record uh, you know catfishes somewhere in there. Somewhere in that lake. And huh? on that muck, you yeah. know, of which there's plenty. I'm just saying. Who knows? Yeah. I'm not going to go canoodling, though. No, that. no, nothing. No canoodling in that Oh, no canoodling, canoodling. Yeah. So. Whatever comes out of that thing is not going to be a good fish. No, it's probably going to be glowing. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, might have three or four eyes. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. I'm just saying. Hey, you know, we're coming up on a quick break. When we get back, we're going to talk about things to avoid when you're driving. The weather's warming up and spring break is around the corner. Where are you off to? Round up friends and family for a giant recreation world getaway. Go anywhere, anytime. Buy, sell, consign, trade up, or rent. New inventory is arriving daily with all new and selected pre-owned RVs. Plus, right now at zero down and no payments for 90 days for those who qualify. Plan your spring break adventure now. Visit a location near you in Winter Garden, Destination Daytona, or Palm Bay. And at GiantRecreationWorld.com. The only RV dealer in Central and North Florida with the nationwide RV warranty forever welcome back episode 61 <laughs> giant recreation room. three awesomely large indoor showrooms yeah yeah air conditioned in uh, the central florida area escape the home day or in beach winter garden always a pleasure we are at winter garden today yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh at our our homemade studio. Mm-hmm. So, JT, do you like our backdrop today? It's all for you, bro. I mean, I'm just saying. So uh, that's right. We were talking about the, you know, driving on the road uh, when in busy traffic. Busy traffic. We're also RV. Think, now I want to talk about things to avoid. That's right. You know, which uh, some of these go hand in hand, and we might have already touched on them. Yeah, but some you of can't these kind talk of about safety enough, right? You really can't. Uh, we're RVing is supposed to be kumbaya. It's supposed to be relaxing. That's right. You know. It's uh, it's freedom. It's family. It's fun. Excitement. Bam. And and uh, really, you're just doesn't matter if you're five minutes away from your house or five five hundred miles away from your house. It yep. doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You still, it's a new. It's a it's a different life, and that's why people enjoy it. Yeah. You know that is that's a great way to say it. That's a good point there. It's yeah. a true story. Yeah, man. It's it's a it's just a, a frame of mind. Yeah. That. Uh, a lot of people like to to use the RV to be able to activate yes. a new state of mind. New so uh, of mind. things to avoid, you do don't want to tailgate. No, you know tailgate. it reduces reaction time and increases the risk of collisions, yeah. especially if you're driving something heavy or pulling something heavy. Oh yeah, as you know, that stop time definitely reduces. It you know? Mega reduces. You've yeah. seen semis all before. Oh yeah, you know? and and some of us know that they're trying to keep distance between them and the car they're following. And we still see people pull in front of them, in front of jamming them. on the, on their brakes. Crazy. They, don't they know that that guy cannot stop like like you can? No, I don't think they. A lot of people are ignorant. Yeah, gotta be cool, man. Yeah, it's gotta be cool. They so uh, it out. Uh, driving in the uh, the blind spots of large trucks or buses where the driver may not be able to see you. Yep. That's not a good idea. Not a good idea. And uh, the way you know that you're doing that is if you look in their side mirror and you can't see them. If they you can't see their face, they can't see your car. That's it. That's a good point, too, man. I'm just I, saying. I got like chock full. That was like a third one today. Well, you know, it's it's a life experience. <laughs> yeah, that is. That's a good one. You mentioned why, why do you want to stay out of there. I'm telling you why. Yeah, yeah. 
and uh, you know, we're in the uh, Destination Daytona complex in our Ormond Beach location. That's right. And uh, the late owner of that air, that day, that uh, Daytona Harley, okay, uh, was Will Rossmeyer. He's kind of uh, iconic if you're a biker. Everybody gotcha. knows him. But uh, he was in the blind spot of an actual guy pulling a travel trailer. Oh, good. In South Dakota. Oh, you know, man. At the Sturgis. And uh, he didn't know, but that, that truck and trailer were was taking a right. Oh, goodness. And he did, didn't was, know that was happening. He was in their blind spot. Yeah, yeah. And and he didn't know it was happening. Oh, man. And, and uh, that, that's how it, he, he got killed. Oh, man. That's sad. So, again. That's tough. Yeah, it is bad, right? Yeah, you can't drive in the blind spot. You got to be prepared for that uh, stuff. Overloading your RV with excessive cargo or passengers can affect vehicle handling and braking. Oh yeah, yeah. It's uh, I've I've said this many times, and and you know, did what did I say we went downtown Winter Garden showing off the golf cart? That we did today. That we did. Uh, we were doing that for a little photo shoot to promote our giant specialty vehicle. Oh, yeah. sells three different manufacturers brands of uh, golf carts, but uh, we do. We were also uh, showing off Winter Guard, yeah, yeah. So it was a it was a kind of a fun time. But we noticed that driving the, our new Magic carts, they they're really stiff. Oh yeah, the uh, the the suspensions are really stiff. So when we're driving down those cobble street, you know, cobblestone or or whatever streets all there downtown Winter yep. Guard, they were very bumpy and and jolty. Oh yeah. Now, I know that. Uh, uh, if you're only one person, which we were in the golf carts, uh -huh. they're they're designed for more weight than that. So the more weight you put on it, the smoother the ride gets. That's it. That was uh -huh. a long segue. Yeah, that was pretty good though. But uh, for instance, a travel trailer toy hauler, that's a garage unit, you know, yeah, is made to be laden in the back. So the front, when it's when there's nothing in it to out offset the the tongue weight, it can be very heavy. There you go. Without yeah. stuff in it, so it's designed to be have stuff in the back to offset some of the tongue, tongue weight. Like the golf cart. It, it will pull better when it's full. When it's full when of it's people. Empty. Oh, wow. See that? So I wonder if we test that. Yeah, we got to put four people in the golf cart. Uh, absolutely. I'm, yeah, that goes. I'm sure that's what it is. Yeah. You know, but... Uh, I'd like to give that a test. Yeah. I mean, you, you take this next one. All right, so using the cruise control and heavy traffic. These are definitely things Not do that. Avoid. Right. Uh, as it may limit your ability to react quickly to changing conditions. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I realize too, even on the highway, when you see somebody break out of nowhere, right? That's what they're doing is trying to turn off their speed control. Their, uh, speed a lot control. of times, that's it, uh, and then that in of, of itself causes a ripple effect. Yep, because you see red light slow, slow, slows, and it gets slower and slower and slower. And next thing you know, you have a traffic jam behind you. Yeah, and you did it. Why? Because you were using your cruise when you shouldn't have been doing it in traffic. That's it. Yeah, and go. sometimes too, it you take your foot off the gas and it keeps going. Yeah, that's scared. You know, scare you, make you nervous. They jamming on the brakes, cause an accident. <laughs> oh, the true story. I was in a car once that where it did not turn off when, oh. hit, when I when I hit the brakes. It did not turn off the cruise. Get out of here! So that was freaking me out. Oh, oh, oh that's you know, scary. Had to get that <laughs> fixed real quick. It almost <laughs> caused a wreck though. Yeah, I can imagine. So you don't want to uh, make sudden lane changes or erratic maneuvers without signaling or or checking for traffic. That's Again, big, a big. lot of things could be hidden in that. In that, that blind spot. That blind spot, like a oh, motorcycle, yeah. four wheel. Yeah. You know? That's why they always say check twice for motorcycles. Check twice for motorcycles. Mm -hmm. And then uh, uh, make don't make sudden lane changes, you know? Yeah, yeah. Which, I mean, in an RV, you're really not. You shouldn't be just jerking the RV around like that anyway. Yeah. You All right. So uh, driving while fatigued or under the influence of alcohol or drugs, which impairs your judgment and reaction time. Plus, it's illegal. That, uh, too. Don't do that. Be you DUI, <laughs> and uh, you know, right now, what is the government thing? Everything on on, on the news, immigrants. Yeah, no, oh. immigrants are different than illegal entry into our country. That's right. Am I wrong? But it seems like I'm wrong. Ye no, you're not. I don't think I'm wrong, folks. So you got me. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but the news and all that, none of them call them illegals. No, no, they, they call them. Undocumented, undocumented entry. Undocumented migrants. Yeah. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's uh, it's quite the world we're living in. Quite. All right. So what else you got? Ignoring. Right. Yeah. Do not ignore warning signs or signals indicating construction zones, lane closures, or other hazards. But <laughs> you know, <laughs> I mean, that one kind of makes me laugh though. Why would you ignore that? Bridge out. 
<laughs> try not to ignore those signs. Well, you know, and and if you all of a sudden ram through some uh, <laughs> some barricades, you know, you probably need to stop very soon. Sir, please turn around. That is not the way to go. <laughs> well, if you're in, especially in your if you're in a city and you're un, unsure of the road, oh yes, yeah, sometimes yeah. you 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 uh you get on merge onto a. Uh, a big interstate. Yeah, can, I'm with you. On can that. be ten or twelve lanes wide. Yeah, you, you know? don't know which way you're going. And some of them just get right off. Yeah, and the, and people that causes them to swerve. Next thing you know, there's a big accident. Big accident, especially too. Like in a downtown, there's a lot of one ways. Right, you almost get caught in that. Like I'm going down the wrong way. Yeah, don't get engaged in uh, uh, distractions outside the RV, such as uh, watching TV. Although most of them <laughs> will not let you watch TV and drive if it's yeah, visible. Well, by uh, by the pass by the driver by the driver that's a good one uh, or using electronic devices while driving yeah. cell phones I, I I I see more people doing it than not doing it anymore yeah. I would it's, agree it's off yeah it's more the look you know you see like you know it's there and they just kind of keep looking yeah, off it seems like the they're, they're it's right here and they're holding on you know it's it, crazy it is it really is crazy you know um, all right Bailey. also yeah have y'all watched uh you know the the movie, the classic Vacation. Oh yeah, one vacation. of my favorites. Well, if Chevy it, Chase, yeah, well, Chevy Chase is driving his uh, you know, station oh, wagon, yeah. family <laughs> truckster, or whatever they call that, and the uh, the hot blonde yeah, pulls up next by. to him. Yeah, that's what causes jump and uh, again, that's all distractions. That's a bad thing. That is a bad thing. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's a good one. All right, so uh, failing to yield to emergency vehicles or highway maintenance crews when they are present. That can be very dangerous. Very dangerous. Uh, they're just working to save, don't, you know, yep. don't kill them. They're yep. just trying to work. That's why speed and pods are double. They do well, hard work out and there. And you're supposed to pull over. Yep. If you're in that left-hand lane or right-hand lane and there's a, 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 mer- a flashing car on the side or, yeah. or, or workers or whatever with cones. That's you're, right. You're supposed to get over. It's, it's the law. law. They yeah. can give you a ticket for that. That's right. Get out of the way. What if that was you in there? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> ignoring your vehicle's maintenance needs is bad. Oh, yeah. You know, tire pressures. Talked about that so many times. Yep. Your brakes. Race. Your fluids. Just check that stuff regularly. That's a fact. Yeah. Absolutely. And we do our annual maintenance. You know, bring that sucker in. Get your annual maintenance it done. It's uh, every year. But let me tell you, you're supposed to check other things Especially an RV that'll sit for a month or so at a time sometimes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Before you go, go eat out and before you return, yeah. check it out. Check it out. Make it part of your regiment. Which yeah. we've got issues or uh, episodes that we've done checklists right. when traveling. You can download a checklist from us. Get that checklist going. Right, on, sure our, right on our About Us. Go to the uh, podcast. That's right. And uh, the hour. And and after all the episodes, there's a whole bunch of links to everything. That's right. right. Am I right? Yes, it's all in the descriptions and that. There's links Very to all nice. the uh, Word docs and stuff like that. So uh, another good thing, of tips and tricks I wanted to talk about was uh, making your RV more energy efficient Ooh. and conserving energy. Which That's a big one. We've talked about before, yeah. but never only about, you know. So uh, yeah, it's like it always comes in in little tidbits, but these are very specific. Absolutely. Solar panels are very helpful. Very. You know? yep. They're a renewable energy source that can help your RV, uh, help power your RV's electrical systems and reducing the need for grid electricity or generator usage. Oh, yeah. But you want to try to stay off the generator sometime. Plus, all that kind of stuff costs you money. Usually. Yeah. You get the fuel, even the noise of the generator. Yep. All that. Yeah. Uh, and sometimes they're banned. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have a generator running in, in a lot of venues. Yeah. And if so, then you have to have like an exhaust kit that goes brings it up over the, the roof of your RV. Yeah, you yeah. know, but that's a goal. LED lighting instead of traditional light bulbs, you yeah. know. Uh, they ha- they're they energy efficient. They uh, they use way less energy and last oh, yeah. so much longer. So much. So uh, and it'll, it'll reduce your overall energy. Yeah, that's been a big thing lately, the LEDs. We yeah. just did that in our giant specialty vehicle showroom. All new LED lighting. Beautiful. You can actually see stuff in there. It is pretty bright in there now, boy. Yes, yeah. it, it makes me smile. It does. It is a nice thing. Pick the next one, please. All right, so you can improve insulation. Oh, yeah. So properly insulate your RV to prevent heat loss in the winter and heat gain in the summer. This will help maintain a comfortable interior temperature without relying heavily on heating or cooling system. There you go. That's a good one. And, and there's a lot of little accessories we sell them in the parts store to help you do that. Like, there you uh, go. These big square pillows that go in the roof fence. To, yeah. You know, because those can, can radiate heat right through them. Yeah. You can feel them. 
You know, and that's one of the biggest surprising ones. You see a lot of people here buying those. Yeah. yeah. And then a lot of people have those uh, windshield uh, covers to oh, in yeah. their cars. Parked. They yeah. make them in RVs. You can put them on every window. Yeah, man. You'd be surprised yeah. how much that cool keeps everything cool inside. Uh, optimize your ventilation, Bingo. you know, using uh, ceiling vents and fans to improve airflow. And reduce the need for air conditioning. Natural ventilation can help regulate indoor temperatures and reduce energy usage. There you go. Many of our manufacturers have uh, have jealousy windows still. So you can open those up a little bit and have cross ventilation. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, Very nice. breeze. Yeah, yeah man. And then uh, we monitor energy usage. So you can install energy monitoring systems, track your RV's energy consumption. This can help you identify areas where more energy is being wasted and make uh, adjustments accordingly. I wouldn't doubt there's an app for that somewhere. Oh, yeah. Or some of them have Bluetooth, you know. Yeah. Some of those uh, power monitor things uh, yep. do have Bluetooth enabled, so you can do that right through yourself. Oh, yeah. Uh, Phantom loads. Go ahead. So this was something we check out we do in our house also. Right. We try to unplug electronic devices and appliances when they're not in use to avoid phantom loads. These occur when devices draw power even when turned off. Use power strips with on and off switches to easily disconnect devices at once. Well, anything that has a, a memory, you know, uh -huh. will have some of that bleed off. Oh, yeah. So, uh, again, uh, even even the 12-volt systems in your cars, uh -huh. you know, so uh -huh. if you're if you're going to store a car, you know, uh, you you just un unconnect the uh, the positive uh, terminal off the battery. Off the battery. And yep. if you're not sure if your car has that, undo that and put a test light in between that that uh, and that the battery in the battery terminal. Okay. And uh, if the light comes on at all, it usually is dim or whatever. Right. You know that there's a direct power draw. Whoa. So uh, if you're gonna be storing your car, you need to undo that. Undo that. Oh wow, well, that's a good one too. Yeah, you're, well, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Must have four. You better come up with another one. Do yes, five. <laughs> use uh, use energy efficient appliances. You can do that at home too, by the way. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah energy Star. Yeah, that. yeah. So uh, choose choose those uh, appliances carefully, and and elect and uh, uh, such as low power TVs, laptops, kitchen gadgets. You know, look for products with high energy star. Yeah, I got you. to maximize energy <laughs> savings. See, I didn't even read that. I'll folks. say that I was good, man. I just knew <laughs> five. Go ahead. Yeah, Go ahead. Wasn't even trying. Oh, see. Uh, practice energy efficient cooking. So you want to use propane stoves, induction co cooktops instead of electric stoves to conserve energy while cooking. You opt for quick cooking methods like pressure cooking or microwaving to minimize energy usage. There you go. I mean, I, I, I did think indu induction cooktops are electric, are they not? And it says microwave, so I'm not really... See, I, uh, see, I, I, I believe using... this is probably one of those AI things. Might be a solar, like if you're using solar power. Yeah. <laughs> Big magnifying glass, just don't kill the ants. All right. So, uh... Oh, that's funny. How about uh, reduce water usage? Yay. Install low-flow faucets, which most RVs already have. Yep. Shower heads, most already have, you know to reduce consumption in the RV, and uh, make sure you don't have any leaks or drips. So uh, they make sure they're fixed. Yes, yeah. You're going to utilize water, especially if you're off your potable holding tank. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, harness wind energy. Nah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think uh, we're going to get no wind Yeah, don't, lines, don't do that. Know? Yeah, but, uh, I wouldn't even recommend that. All right. How about uh, just implement energy-saving habits? It's the habits. Yeah. Habits, you know, use your towel two or three times if you, all you're doing is dry it off. <laughs> Just, there's all kinds of cool things you can do. Dry out your paper towels. So before our Bartow Corner comes up next episode, which we're coming to the end of this one. Here uh, we go. I, uh, I do have some, uh, some awesome things to talk about. One of our travel trailers that's made to help you save energy. We'll be back. Giant Specialty Vehicles is Winter Garden's number one golf cart dealership. Choose from multiple brands to match your budget, including advanced EV golf carts starting at just $79.99. Or check out the Mad Jacks or Atlas. Escape the heat in their air-conditioned showroom and try before you buy. And rent a golf cart for your next adventure. Need repairs? If you're local, it's only $20 to have your cart picked up and brought in for service. Or if you're a do-it-yourselfer, explore their parts and accessories store. Giant Specialty Vehicles. Find out more at GiantSpecialtyVehicles.com. Welcome back. 
and I'm sure everybody's sitting on the edge of their seat yeah. wants to hear about this product I'm talking about by one of our manufacturers, made, designed to help you conserve energy. So many. There's so many on the hot list. Yeah, before we hit Bartos Corner. What do you got? I wanted to uh, talk about it. It's uh, it's one of our, our newer manufacturers. Okay. Uh, by Forest River. It's called East to West. Okay. And their their Alta Travel Trailer Division. Oh, all right. Is uh, is a fully laminated uh, aluminum frame, higher quality travel trailer. All right. They don't. They only make travel trailers. They have nice trailers. And they're very nice. You know, it's got the smooth fiberglass exterior. Yeah. And it's thick fiberglass, so you know you can't see the little fibers through it and stuff. Like that. Very luxurious. Things that you need to look at. But they make one that's called the Alta Extreme. 365 all season RV. Whoa! They make two floor plans currently. Okay. So uh, it's not a package because it's actually con- co- a complete different build. Oh wow! And I wanted to talk about some of the things they do in this product that you may need or want to inquire about. Okay. So it they have a three inch laminated sidewall. Wow! So normally they're they're an inch and a half. So it's double the thickness. So it's double the insulation. We it also has uh, the Adsel composite on the exterior and interior walls. Oh, wow. So, so that is a, a material that is not permeable. In, it's impermeable, impermeable. From, water, yeah. from water. And then that does not wick water. It doesn't suck in water, and it doesn't rot out. And it's usually only on the outside, correct? It's uh, usually boom, boom. Well, because it's three inches, they did it on the outside and, and the inside, inside. And then they put the interior wall panel over that, and then they put the exterior fiberglass over that. Day. So again, and then you have solid foam core insulation, but the walls are three inches thick. Well, how was that? Check that out. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty impressive. It has a it has a a, a five inch laminated roof. Oh, jeez, oh, five inches on the roof. And in Florida, that's very serious because that's where that sun bounce pounds on pounds. So the five inch laminated roof. Oh man, dual pane windows are standard. You know, uh, double insulated underbelly with forced heat induction so uh, that's if you're going to go into the tundra i gotta say i'm a little impressed by this right now uh 12 volt heating pads on the holding tanks and heat tape on the water lines well that's nice all standard heat tape on the water lines yes sir i'm talking this is a a a bad to the bone trailer you ain't kidding what i'm considering buying for me and my family okay Uh, it's got uh, two 15,000 btu air conditioner units with heat pumps Dang, it's got two of two them. Two of them. Nah, less than Most that. of them have one fifteen and one thirteen five. Which you know is is pretty good. That requires the fifty amp service too, folks, which this obviously has. Obvious, yeah, yeah. That's uh, a big it's got a forty thousand BTU furnace. Okay. That that's will, good. That will winter. heat it up really quickly. It's it's basically more than enough. Yeah, that double insulation. Uh, it has an and also it has an electric fireplace where if you're in a campground you can use their pa- power, which is free, and uh you, that'll oh, warm heater. Yeah. That is an induction heater or whatever, so yeah. it'll, it'll warm the interior if you want that part on. That's or you can just have the ambiance of the fake. Oh, the fake flame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is cool. It's really nice. Yeah, it was uh, residential inspired appliances. Okay. Uh, king size bed, and it's a real king. Hey. Uh, eight foot interior height. Wow. Again, they, they kind of advertise these as a uh, travel trailer that camps like a. A destination trailer. Shoe ain't kidding. You know, but uh, eight foot interior height, wash and dryer preps standard on them. Okay. And uh, tankless on demand hot water heater. Wow, man. I like that. And those heat fast, the tankless water heater. Yeah. And I have talked to people about those. The biggest cons- uh, uh, complaint we get from customers is what's that? They just won't keep stay hot. And you're thinking, huh. you know why? Why? Because when you have a tankless water heater, Instead of turning it to the degree you want to use it at, you got to turn it on full blast heat. And then you turn it down to the degrees you want. Uh, if you don't do that, then it will not keep up. Keep up to the heat level. Yeah. Uh, so that's it says that in the owner's manual. And if you're like me, you just don't read those. <laughs> that's a good tip, though. That's a good one to yeah. know. Yeah. yeah. If you have a uh, tankless on-demand hot water heater, Away. full blast heat, then when you see the steam, turn it down. Add cold, feel it. If it's perfect, it'll stay there forever. Oh, oh. Yeah. That's a good one. Now, you do need 110-volt uh, power, though. So. <laughs> yeah, constantly going. Yeah, so yeah. There you have it. But that's the Alta Extreme 365 All Seasons RV by 
by uh, East to West and Forest River. There you go. We have yes, some available at all three locations right now. Until I pick up mine, which I haven't purchased yet, but I'm thinking very soon. There you go. Palm Bay, Winter Garden, Ormond Beach. Come yes, on. Yes, sir. You need at least a uh, a, a half-ton truck half ton, that, yeah. with the, with a towing package on it. There you go. I recommend a three-quarter ton even better. Get your stability. Yeah, man. Bortos Corner. What is it? What has he got for us today? Super specials. Yeah, I'll take us out. Here we go. Yeah. So we got a new 2023 Coachman Sports Coach SRS 376 ES. ES. I wonder what that means. Extra special. <laughs> so we've got this at a list price of $337,957. It is on sale right now for $199,499. Ooh, $138,458 off MSRP. That is... Uh, folks, you can't find a real diesel pusher out there under two hundred grand in today's market. No, you cannot. Sir. You cannot. And this is not a little baby diesel. It's no, got it's a, a big boy. It's a big boy, full, full wide body. It's one of the cool kid RVs. I'll tell you though. You know what I like about it? It's a diesel pusher that has a middle. Yeah, the entry door. Entry door. Yeah. It's not up front. Yeah. Which makes a big difference too. You'd really be surprised. Well, so. when it's in the middle like that, you can en- enter and exit the RV under the awning. So mm-hmm. when it's raining and stuff, you don't track up, track it in. That's Where it. Where if it's in the front, it's outside that awning cover. Some of them have a little cover that comes co- covers up too, but un- uh, unless oh, it's so. a, a misty rain, you know, or that you're so <laughs> it doesn't wet. Too much. It, it's yeah. not going to, it only sticks out a couple of feet. Oh, uh, yeah. It's not blocking much for it. It's, it's kind of like trying to hide under the eave of your house when it's raining. It just doesn't get her done. Right. Not enough. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, this is a great floor plan. It's got uh, uh, almost a full wall slide in it where yeah. the, uh, the the dinette booth, you know, the, the full kitchen, the bunk house. It has bunks, by the way. Oh, yeah. And those bunks are, can also double as a uh, wardrobe. The, okay. The uh, bunks will flip up. Oh, nice. And also it has a flip down uh, addition in it that will make it like a desk. You can oh, use it as a desk. Work area. And it's a multifunction. There you go. Bunk slash closet slash desk. And the, even the bedroom itself has a very nice size closet. Oh, it's back there. Oh, the whole back wall is a closet. Super. And closet. then that's where your uh, your washer dryer combo goes. Goes in that too. Actually, it's uh, a stackable. Oh, there you go. It's like these a, are for a good trip. Yeah, it's Damn got man. a king bed. It's got uh, little little ledges on each side of the king bed, so you can put alarm clocks or. Oh, that's you know, good. It has yeah. power back there, so you can power up your uh, your CPAP machine. The CPAP you got. Yeah. Have an alarm clock. Yeah. It has uh, USB ports, so you can have your cell phone charging back there. There you go. Has great TVs areas. Yeah, man. You can wa- There's two TVs in that little bunk room that I'm talking about. There's a TV in the main bedroom. There's a TV in the front. There's a TV in the living area, and there's what? an outside TV. TV crazy. This is a nice coach, full body paint, quality. Coachman product. We're very proud of it. And for under 200 you can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Yeah. That's a fact. You know, I'm going to take the next one. You what you why? got? You know why? Because you stole my thunder. Oh, and God. you know me. I don't like that. <laughs> so, this is what in the business we call a loss leader. Here we go. So, a 2024 Forest River Coachman Pursuit Whoa. 27 XPS. Yeah, we have a slew of them because we bought them in bulk to get a better deal, so we can offer you a better deal. These so, order homes have an MSRP of one fifty seven one eighty nine. It's a, a a real RV too. It's a bigger Ford chassis, so it drives real good. Doesn't have as much uh, uh, what what they call hangover. Oh, okay, but uh, it's a great driving coach. We have it on sale for ninety four nine seventy seven. Wow, that's sixty two thousand dollars off and. Uh, did I tell you this is a brand new 2024 Class A motorhome, not on a baby teeny little chassis? No, sir. It's so, a uh, nice ride. Again, yeah. it's a real motorhome, and uh, we have a great deal on it. And even better, for those of you that don't like the huff, fuss, and muss of the slide rooms, uh-huh. it's old school. It has no slide room. There you go. So there's nothing to, to leave you stranded or break. That's right. Again, And it's very usable. Got a walk-around queen bed in the back that's north to south. Nice. Uh, sure's closets on either side of that. It's got a side bath, and uh, actually, it's called a split bath. So okay. you, you, know, you you can pass through where the toilet's on one side and the shower's on the other, and then you open two doors, and it makes one big, big, big uh, room big, there. Uh, big washer area. Everything. Big uh, bathroom. Big bathroom. Yeah. I'm in. Yeah, right. It's got a, a sofa and a dinette booth, 
Got a drop down bunk over the driver's passenger chair. Very usual. And this also has the center door, like you were saying. Mm-hmm. I like that one. Yeah, man. All right. You can take the next. All right. Coachman 2023, Coachman Galleria 24 FL. <laughs> I'm, I was waiting to be, to be, you know, discussed about I, the actual Galleria line by Forest River and Coachman. Okay. It's a, a Mercedes Sprinter Class B diesel. Hey, uh, mm-hmm. now let me ask you, is FL front lounge? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> Way off. No, yes. Uh, uh, I don't know what FL stands for. No, I mean, it's a Class B. You can't really front It's a Class B. It's, uh, we talked about them last uh, last episode. Yep, that's right. I'll walk you through it, but uh, uh, it's a, it's a, a big sprinter van, so it's probably it's twenty four foot long. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And uh, if in comparison, like a uh, a Chevy Suburban is nineteen feet. Oh, it's longer than a Chevy Suburban, but not much. That's a good comparison. Yeah. yeah, man. It's got a side wet bath. Hey. With a sink and shower, and toilet. The refrigerator is in the very front corner behind yep. the driver's seat, but the, it leaves you plenty of room where you can recline that seat. Mm-hmm. Which is sometimes a problem in a van camp. That it is. But uh, you can also spin that, spin both those chairs to make that a big living area that has quick access to the fridge for your adult libations or Cokes or pe- Pepsis or whatever you like. There you go. It worked out uh, pretty good. It's got a wardrobe. Uh, it's got a microwave. It's got a, a, a cooktop. It's got a sink. It's got mm-hmm. a two burner induction seat. You know, it's got two jump seats that convert into a big bed. and oh, got a, a rear. Sofa that has got a power bed and that turns into a power bed. There it is. Let yeah. me tell you how cool how cool is that. Yeah, man. And uh, what, what a lot of space? Did you give us a price? No, no prices yet. So we uh, we've got a list price of two sixty two three three eight. It is on sale right now for one hundred and sixty seven thousand seven seven seven. Almost a hundred thousand dollars off MSRP. It's incredible. And for you people that have shopped those uh, those you know basic co- uh, conversion. Van sprinters at the Mercedes store. Yes, sir. Those things uh, are like they're hard to get for under two hundred. Yeah, man. And they don't have an RV in them. Yeah, I say a lot of people like these because then you can drive. Even when you go and park, you could take it out somewhere for dinner and bring it back around. Absolutely can. Plus, it's bougie because it's a Mercedes, and we all want to be bougie. Everybody wants to be bougie. Yeah, and they get good gas mileages because they're the the diesel, and and they also. Have the blue uh, diesel from Mercedes, which is very, very low in oh, uh, yeah. carbon emissions. That's right. Yeah, these are great units. They really are. Yeah. And also, too, all these units are specialty on-sale units for the on-lot sale. Right. Come and check them out. All right. I want to talk about a uh, new 2024 East to West Class C Entrada. Entrada. The model 2200 SF. Yeah, yeah. It's got a rear slide. That comes out the side of the coach that houses the queen walk around bed. Okay. It's also got a rear side bath. Uh, so, uh, that's a, yeah, that's a little more efficient. It's too. very efficient. Makes it a nice big bedroom and a very usable toilet area. Yeah. And, nice. and, and separate showers, not a wet bath. Yeah. It's got an outside lavatory and, uh, or a, 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 a sink. Okay. To that. So you, you can be brushing your teeth while somebody's taking a shower. And you're not in the same room. Not in the same. So that's good, right? That is. You don't it's interrupt. A, it's got a pantry and wardrobe. It's got a fridge. It's got a uh, kitchen, full kitchen. It's got a, a U-shaped dinette. Yeah. That's beautiful. Uh, it's got the overhead bunk because it's a Class C. We have it on. Good. We have it. Uh, list price is one eleven four eleven. We have it on sale for seventy nine eight eighty eight. Whoa! And uh, folks, the Entradas are not entry level. No, they're sir. very nice. Class C for under eighty thousand. And in uh, yeah, brand new. 2024. Man. And it's, uh, uh, I, I like the Entrada product because it's white exterior. Oh, okay. So it doesn't get real hot. And I feel they cool better because they don't have ducted roof air. Oh, they no. have a, a, the old school roof air where it comes out both sides. Okay. Like a, like a banshee. Yeah. <laughs> it actually cools way better. So you don't lose efficiency. Oh, that's good. So, that's what we were yeah, talking about. That's a big sales feature, by the way, if you ever talk to their rep. They'll yep. tell you why it's better. That's a good one. That's yeah. a good one. How about the uh, the Coachman by Forest River 2024 Cross Trail EV 21XG? Yeah, yeah. That's in Palm Bay, this particular one. Yep. But what's cool about the, it is it's a transit, a Ford Transit chassis, three-quarter ton. 
Yeah. Some people like the different model chassis. Yeah, I'm sorry. One ton. It's a it's an E three fifty. Oh, it's a chassis. one ton. Okay. I'm sorry, one ton. Rear dual wheels. So uh nice. yeah, it has no slide. Okay. It's got a corner bed, corner bath, and it's a Murphy corner bed. So you can flip that up and not use it and have that as a big storage area. And you have a big garage door on the back that doesn't like not a ramp door, but it's a big door where you can put a canoe in there or whatever. Oh, very cool. When you're not using the bed, that, that that's a dual thing. Or you oh, that's bicycles. Great. It's real tall, so you oh. can put a bicycle in there or whatever you need. Any kind of storage. Very that's awesome. So uh, mm-hmm. yeah, we have a, a 163 859 MSRP on sale for 112 444. Hey. And anybody knows those uh, those transit chassis are kind of expensive, but it's a great floor plan. A uh, half a U dinette got a side uh, entry door right there everything that you ever want a big can pantry a big closet yeah, man. and uh the uh of course the cab over tv yeah i like that the cab over because tv not a bump this nope. is more i would call this more of a b yeah close b c b plus uh, i'm gonna knock this last one out on. because it's a tiny trailer take us all those we got a 2024 dutchman colorado 17 bhc that that's uh for sale at all of our locations oh yeah we have it on sale for 14.999 or forty dollars a week. That's a starter unit, there, boy. That's a beautiful coach, though, and that's a a, a product made by Thor for us, for uh, the Priority Network dealers only. So that's an uh, an exclusive product. There you go. It's a great little trailer, folks. If you're first timer, come and take a peek. It's you can't do any better than or in any you can you cannot buy one cheaper anywhere. And it's a tandem axle. It's not a little baby trailer. You know. Thanks. Oh, we're we're out of here, folks. We'll see you next week. Have a trade? Get top dollar now. And if you need service, parts, or a rental, Giant Recreation World has you covered. Shop at GiantRecreationWorld.com or visit their three locations. The only RV dealer in Central and North Florida with a nationwide RV warranty forever. GiantRecreationWorld.com.